Hola amores and welcome back to my channel. I am Maritza. I hope all of you are doing better and better each day. In today's video topic, I'm going to talk about exactly what happens to a woman's vagina, all right? If she stops having sex for longer periods, all right? But first, go ahead and click on the subscribe and the like button to show me a little bit, a tiny of support, as well as turn on all the notifications to become aware as soon as I put out a new video. And also, go ahead and check out my other music channel here on YouTube, where you will find a variety of nice and relaxing and different soothing sounds for all, all ears. All right, let's begin. my loves i'm going to talk about two different scenarios okay one if you are premenopausal which means you still have periods whether they are regular or not or if you're postmenopausal and this means you no longer get any periods at all okay premenopausal if women stop having sex for longer longer periods then the lady yes very true she can lose her elasticity However, this is just very temporary because the vagina works as a muscular canal, all right? And it also works as an elastic muscular tube. And this tube can get very, very tight if there is no sort of penetration coming in or penetration coming out. But thanks to the woman's ongoing estrogen hormone production, right, of the premenopausal woman, even if she's not having intercourse, she will maintain her elasticity and her vagina lubrication, all right? She does not need to fear of losing that even after years of not having any, any intimacy, okay? However, this is not the same for postmenopausal women who stop having intimacy or sex for longer, longer periods. Because here it works as this, as they say in Spanish, si no se usa, se pierde. And it means if you don't use it, you lose it, all right? And what does this mean? This means the woman does have a much higher chance to permanently lose her vaginal elasticity after long, long periods of not having sex. Reason being is because the woman no longer produces the estrogen, all right, the estrogen hormone production needed to maintain the lubrication and natural elasticity of all women. All right, my loves, regardless, pre or postmenopausal ladies, if any woman has not had sex for longer, longer periods, one thing that will not happen for sure is she will not become a virgin once again, okay? Because what makes a lady a virgin is having what they call a hymen. And a hymen is a thin issue, okay, located inside the opening of the vagina. And once this is broken due to having intercourse or even maybe using tampons, then even if a lady doesn't have sex for a long period, the hymen will not regrow, all right? In other words, the lady will not be a virgin once again. My loves, another topic very good to clarify is the one where it is thought that if the woman doesn't have sex for a long time, she will be very dry. And again, this is not true, all right? This has nothing to do with sexual frequency, but it has to do with what I explained above, which is related to the woman's estrogen levels. If she's still producing them, if she's still in her reproductive years, then she has nothing to worry about, all right? If she's still premenopausal and getting her menstrual cycles, her menstrual periods, right if she's getting them then the woman will not be losing her natural lubrication the one that a female's body produces even if she's not having any any intercourse all right my loves now let's talk about something else which is sexual drive or libido in women all right whether women are having or not having sex it is not common for her sexual desire to drastically change just because now she's being abstinent for longer periods okay However, what can change is the women's approach to sex once again when she returns, right, next time around. It can either be a lot more enjoyable or maybe she then learns that she really no longer needs this. It's no longer appealing to her, okay? Will she feel different returning to having sex after being celibate for a while? Of course! She can either be like a kid in a candy store and get super excited or she can even feel very different about the whole encounter. Especially why? Especially if she's having painful and uncomfortable moments from her vagina, right? Being stretched out so much once again. So it all varies from women to women, okay? But if the woman is postmenopausal, I do want to share something with you. If she finds that she's no longer lubricating, then thankfully there are so many other things like oils and lubricants made specially for that, all right? To avoid having pain. And I do want to add that once the lady starts having sex once again there is a natural rise in her desire especially if it's with a new sex partner because anything new or unknown and interesting is what is very exciting to the mind and also this naturally excites the woman's vagina all right my loves and the last thing i will share with all of you today is this 
usually usually the longer the women abstains from having sex then very possibly the more time or the longer period it will take her when she comes back when she returns to experience orgasms once again however this has nothing to do with a lady's vagina but more to do with the mind okay with the fear of letting go of anything of the control of the unknown because if women stop having intercourse it is very possible that a part of her cerebral region called the uh, orbital frontal cortex this always remains very activated always with a lot of sufficient blood flow because this is exactly what controls the lady's emotion system and she's always in full control right of her emotion and herself However, when she begins once again to have sex, it will take her or it can take her a longer period to begin letting go of that fear, right? Of having control of her body, of herself, which eventually what happens will decrease the blood flow in the orbital frontal cortex. And while this is happening, she will slowly, slowly become more disinhibited, all right? And that deactivation of letting go, right, that is taking place in her mind, Though it may take a longer period, it can eventually allow her to reach much higher sexual arousals and therefore reach her female orgasm once again, okay? Alright, my loves, a big hug to each of you and good luck to all. Anyways, go ahead and connect with me through Instagram, okay? I welcome all of you to hang out with me there as well. And also, I invite you to go and see the channel's membership, where any subscriber can join if you find it useful. So see the membership, click on the join tab in the channel's homepage. And know the membership is only a place where we can interact a lot more and where you can contact me a lot easier. In case anything, anything that may be going on in your mind, in your life, where you would like my assistance, okay? Thank you so much to all of you who have joined. I appreciate it. And to those who cannot join, that's okay because I value everyone very much. All right, my loves, that is all for today. Thank you for watching and for sticking with me in today's video with the channel. I hope you enjoyed what I shared, right? And I look forward to having you here again soon. Please share this video to someone if you think it can help them, all right? If you can do something nice for somebody else, do it, especially if it's not costing you anything, okay? And last, let me know your thoughts on what I discussed today. And what do you think naturally happens to a lady if she stops being abstinent for a while, if she stops having sex, okay? Once again, I am Maritza and know that I will try my best to always bring you ways on how to create a better bond with yourself and a more meaningful relationship with those around you. Till next time, ciao ciao my loves, ciao ciao my amores. Thank you.